Oh my goodness, where'd you come from? I didn't even see you. She's going, come on, I know you guys got some more. You want to put that up here? Yeah, I think about it. How many of you, how many of you have brothers and sisters? Or brothers or sisters? Okay. Do you get along with them all the time? Would you like to? Do you think you can get along with them? Yeah. When I was your age, um, I had two older brothers and an older sister. My oldest brother was five years older than me, so we didn't really spend a lot of time together. But my other brother was only a year and a half older than me. We spent all the time together. We lived in the same room. Do you guys share a room with any of your brothers and sisters? You do? Well, you will know that when you live with somebody and you live in the same room, there are days when you just get tired of that person. But in a family, and your brothers and sisters is your family, your church is your family, sometimes there is, well, days that aren't so good within families. Is that right? How about husbands and wives? Do, do everything work perfectly between husbands and wives? Yeah, so you see, one of the things that you always have in this life is you have to learn how to deal with other people. I'm going to tell you a story about my brother and myself and, and how gracious my mother was. She worked a lot, so she wasn't home. So there was a lot of time that we spent by ourselves. One day, my brother was just aggravating me. And he started from, this is, this is how my day usually went. We would go to the bus stop. And as we walked to the bus stop in the morning, my brother would get five to eight stones or rocks. And he'd put them in a pile. And I knew what those rocks were for. That when we got off the bus at the end of school, I had to the count of three to run as fast as I could <laughs> because he'd throw them at me. And my brother had a really good arm. And he could throw really hard and really fast. And so I had a bad day at school. And now I know that when I get off that bus, I'm going to have to run because if not, I'm going to hit with a rock or two or three or four. So we get off the bus. And as soon as I got off the bus, I take off running because I'm smart. And he didn't hit me with the rock, so he wasn't real happy about that. So we get to the house, and he just kept aggravating me and aggravating me. And uh, I had enough. So in my room, I had a baseball bat. Which was his room, too, and I knew he was going to come in there. And he came in there, and I chased him around that entire house with that baseball bat. And I swung it at him because I wanted to hit him. And luckily, he was fast too, and so instead of hitting him, I hit the wall. You know what a baseball bat does to a wall? <laughs> Which my mother, who worked all the time, had to come home and now see a big hole in the wall in her house that she had to pay to get fixed. Now, isn't it funny that I didn't really feel bad about swinging that bat at my brother, but I really felt bad about causing my mother pain. Knowing that when she got home, she wasn't going to be happy. Um, this was an occurrence that happened in my family, usually on a weekly, sometimes on a daily basis. And you would think that after a while, you're, you two as brothers wouldn't get along anymore. But there is something, a dynamic within a family, and it's called love. And if you know that love within your family, you see it in a church family. You see it in your own family. You see it between husbands and wives. There are days when we just aggravate each other. Is that right? Now, has anybody in this church ever aggravated you? <laughs> Listen, you know what? There are days when I have aggravated your grandfather. But you know what? There is a love that we get from God through His Son, Jesus Christ, through the indwelling of the Holy Spirit that allows us to deal with those situations. One of the last things that happened between my brother and I is he was going out on a date, and we were teenagers then, 
And uh, he had on a brand new, really nice shirt. And he got me upset. And I threw a whole uh, glass of grape juice on him. Oh, oh I got it that time. And the ink was good. And he chased me around the house with a knife. And lucky I was fast. And I ran outside because he, he really, really wanted to hurt me. But you know, we made up from that. We made up from the, the baseball bat thing and a thousand other things. Because there came a point, probably when we were mid to late teenagers, when we realized that in this world, there's only a few people you can really count on. And in this world, there are only a few people who really love you. And Brianna, your grandfather, and your grandmother, really love you. Your mother and your father really love you. If you have brothers and sisters, you're going to find out that you're going to see just how much they really love you. When things in the world are bad, when people turn against you, and you feel like you have nobody, you have your family. But more than that, you have God. And God will promise that He never will leave you or forsake you. Do you know why we call this church? Let me turn around and talk to you. Are there more than that? Yeah? Look, look at all these people. All these people are your church family. Do you know what that means? That means that when you come here, this is a safe place. These people love you. These people will care for you. But when you leave here, they still love you and they still care for you. And that no matter what happens to you in your life, no matter what decisions you make, your church family will always be here for you. Do you guys understand that? Just like your mom and your dad will always be there for you. Just like your brothers and sisters will always be there for you. Okay? So always remember that. Go back to your seats. Thank you, Brianna.